Alright, hey guys, Fiddle Ferret here, and welcome back to the last episode of High School Possession. Uh, it has been a fun ride. This visual novel has had its up and down. It has it has had things I like and things that weren't my favorite. But here we are in the final episode, the Kasumi ending. So um, I'm gonna give a, just a quick back overview of this because with this ending, you have to answer almost every single like question correctly through the whole, whole entire game. Um, but I'm just gonna give you like a quick overview over like some of the choices I had to make before we like skip to the more of the ending. Um, so basically, we want to like when we first uh, get bullied by Rika, we just wanna we wanna fight back and we wanna stay in class instead of going home right away. Um, and then after that, we want to challenge uh, Rika, and we want to tell her we're better than her. <clears throat> and so that kind of thing. Uh, we got to tell the doctor we're very close. And where it gets different, and is where I think I'll start here, is... So all you have to do all of that just to get to the point. But you have to change how you do uh, Akiko's ending. So let me just double... I gotta just, let me double check so I don't get this wrong and totally balls this up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go with this one here. So we've broken up with Arata, and so so that's the same. We still want to break up with Arata, but now we're actually going to tell a lie. And I'll read this so you guys can just kind of see the see the text. He he broke up with me recently. I can't bring myself to say what's really been happening. I don't want Akiko to have to even think about it anymore. It's in the past, and I don't want to embarrass her in front of the teacher. And you haven't, and you haven't been handling the breakup well. Well, I, I didn't feel that close to him to begin with, and now, now I'm just completely alone and feel like I don't have anyone to talk to at all. I'm sorry, I. It's all right, Akiko. You can let it out. People go through breakups often. Come here. It's okay. You did the right thing coming here and talking to me. I can't even speak, and then so we go through the can't even speak. And then um, this is all the same now. So that just that slight dialogue was the only thing that was really different. And boom, now this is where we're supposed to consume me, and now we'll start here. So, <clears throat> what just happened? All of a sudden, it was blank, and then I'm sitting on a toilet fully clothed. What am I doing here? This isn't Akiko's body, this is Kasumi's, and I'm not even using the bathroom. Something must have happened with my body again. But if I'm here, I guess I'm okay for the moment. I thought switching bodies every night was bad, but this is getting ridiculous. I was getting upset while talking to the teacher. I wonder if it had something to do with do with it. Is Akiko okay? I want to find out what happened to her, but I can't right now. I need to figure what time it is. Is that a sandwich bag? Was Kasumi eating her lunch in here? Oh right. Uh, we hide from Rika during lunchtime, which means it's almost time for swim class again. And okay. Just, just the, th just, uh, just the thought is enough to make my legs turn to jelly, but I can't let that happen. I messed up once, Kasumi. I know that, but you have to trust me that we'll get it right this time. I'll put an end to this. It might, I might not have much time left to do something. I have no idea when the switches will be happening now. I have to hit it hard and fast. I can't afford to mess this up. But what do I do? Do I repeat what I did before, even though I messed it up once? Or do I take take a more serious measures to protect to protect Kasumi? Uh, Kasumi, challenge Rika. I know Kasumi can beat Rika. I know I can do it. I she can do it on her own if she just believed it and wanted to do it. And I just have to believe that too. Beating her after she after she humiliated Kasumi might be the only way to redeem her. I better go change. I want to be completely ready when Rika shows up. Rika. <clears throat> What do you want? I want to prove that you're not as great as you think you are. What? You still have the nerve to talk to me like that? Do you have a sense of deja vu or is it just me? Because I could have sworn we just did this song and dance once before. Come here, you. The lower that squeaky voice of yours, the better my eardrums pop. Afraid someone might hear the truth, huh? Don't flatter yourself. You're completely outranked and jealous. I understand that. It is pretty funny to see you trying, to trying though, like a stupid little mouse that doesn't know, doesn't know what's in the cat's mouth. I just said that wrong. Are you going to cry this time too? The waterworks are always a nice touch. 
Come on, I'll take your challenge, Kasumi. I'll humiliate you as many times as you want. Oh, burpees. You're the one that's gonna be you're the one that's gonna be humiliated. You might want to think twice about that. You can always back out. There's probably a free bathroom stall you can even hide in and hide in until class is over. Not a chance. That's not me anymore. Have it your way then. Just trying to, trying the same thing over and over and thinking something different will happen. Have I ever told you the definition of insanity? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Kudos to whoever gets that reference. I'll go as many times as it takes for the truth to sink into that thick skull. Let's go. Alright, this time I have to give everything I have. No second guessing or worrying, just swimming. The way I always see Kas Kasumi swim when she wins. And start. Rika pulled ahead, but I can win. I can't think about anything else. I have to beat her. I started off, str I started off strong last time, and I'm in the lead for now, I think. But I can't get comfortable. I still managed. She still managed to win last time, despite my efforts. Ah, we're so close. I know I'm almost there. I don't know where Rika is. All the shouting and cheering is just roaring against the water, chasing in my ears. Almost. Almost end. Yes! I actually won. I actually beat Rika. What? Okay, Kasumi beat Rika. That was the point of doing this in front of the, her in the first place. Still, that was such a rush. But now, I have to make it count for something. Hey, don't look so smug. Just because I had a bad run doesn't mean... I'll tell you what it means. It means the only reason you're as, you're as good as you are is because you threaten your way to being the best. You had to intimidate me and try to save your reputation. And now everyone knows it, because I'm not afraid of you. Is that true, Rika? N no it's, it's not true. Why would you believe something so stupid? Everyone knows the truth, Rika. They just don't say it to your face. You're, you're ridiculous. Look, leave me alone. I don't have to listen to this nonsense. I have better things to be doing. Like practicing, I hope. No, I won't say that. There's no need to stoop to Rika's level and become like her. Was Rika really bullying you into losing? Uh, yeah, something like that. I see. I've heard she has a reputation, but I didn't, I didn't know it went this far. If you tell the teacher, she might take Rika off the swim team completely. <clears throat> I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I guess that depends on Rika. If she leaves me alone from now on, that might not be necessary. Really, I just don't know what Kasumi would actually think about that. I think I've had I think I've made enough bold moves for one day. This really was a win for Kasumi though. I hope I hope it helps her in the long run and she doesn't fall back into getting bullied by Rika. Anyway, I better head back to my lane since it's about to start in a set. Ah, alright. Back to the old uh, doctors again. So we'll skip some of this again. I'm gonna try and make sure I don't skip past any of the uh, any of the different stuff. As we I just realized my uh, mouse is on the desk again, so you guys have been treated to a shit ton of clicking. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed that. <clears throat> it's hard to keep track of days in the hospital. They don't get much longer. I'll have to i I'll they don't get they don't know how much longer I'll have to stay here, but I'm desperate to go. Of course my parents come and visit me every day, which is less monotonous. <clears throat> I hate what I had to put them through. It's so strange. The music is so happy. <laughs> knowing that I knowing that I missed an entire week of my life. Sometimes I get the weird sense that I was still went to school. Apparently it's normal to dream about your daily routine though. And we don't and even if we don't remember it. I guess that's why I keep feeling this way. I need to take another drink, my voice is going. Every time I go to sleep now, I wonder if I'm going to wake up in another week or another month. It's a strange kind of anxiety, and apparently it's highly unlikely to happen. This place is so boring. Sleep is, ap is appealing anyway, even if it is dangerous. <clears throat> he Hikaru? Kasumi! I wasn't expecting any visitors, especially from her. Is it okay for me to come in? Of course! I'm glad to see you. I just heard that you had woken up. I'm sorry. If I had known sooner, 
I would have come as soon as I could. No. I don't I don't feel bad about it. Who's speaking? You didn't have to, you didn't have to come you didn't have to come all that all that you didn't have to come at all, but I'm really glad you did. I thought I was going to go crazy in here. It doesn't look very interesting, no. Do you know when you're going to be released? No, not yet. But probably very soon, as long as there aren't any more complications. Hey, don't look so worried. There haven't been any so far. I feel fine. I'll be back to normal before you know it. But honestly, I spend way too much time having to talk about myself to the doctors and my parents. How have you been, Kasumi? Hmm, that depends on what you're asking about, I guess. You really missed a lot while you were gone. But when you come but when you come back, you might hear about it. I should tell you now so and get it out of the way. I'm eager for some news after after being here, trust me. Okay. Well, do you notice anything different about me? Um I don't <clears throat> I don't think you got a new haircut. No, it's not quite like that. I just I've been really trying to work on my confidence. I don't know if you can tell or not. I just started so recently. Well, you usually have been comfortable talking to me, haven't you? So I'm not sure I'd notice any difference. Really? I'm glad you think so. In truth, I think I was usually really nervous when I talked to you. Nervous? What's there to be nervous about? Well, come on. You don't have to... You, <clears throat> you said you need to work on your confidence, right? Okay. You're right. I was nervous about talking to you sometimes because... Because of the feelings I have for you. Feelings? It's okay if you don't feel the same way, but I wanted to prove to myself that I had the courage to at least tell you that I like you. There, I said it. She likes me? I suspected it, but actually, some part, some part of me was almost sure of it. I just didn't realize it until now. Kasumi, I do feel the same way. Believe me, I'm really thirsty. Mm. I, I have for a while. <clears throat> Really? Yeah, you know, just since I met you, probably. I really thought I was more st stupidly obvious about it. You really weren't, but I'm glad, <clears throat> but I'm not good at reading people anyway, so I'm probably not the best person to ask. I can't believe you feel the same way about me. And since we met, what was so, <clears throat> what was so great, what was so great about when, when we met? I mean, I know we were both on the swim team, but... Well, I don't know. I guess it was really kind of silly and artificial at first, but now I've gotten to know you. It's more tangible. I feel like I know you really well, actually, and there's just nothing I don't like about you. Is that really that surprising? I've got this awful tickle in my throat that's killing me right now. <clears throat> oh, man, my throat. I'm the, I'm the one who should be surprised that you're interested. I guess we were both surprised we surprised each other a little with this. You you never did tell me why you why you came why all this came about. Why are you working on your confidence? Oh, right. Sorry, I just got a little sidetracked. The shortened version is I've had to stand up to something that's really scared me for a long time. I guess I was being bullied. What? I let it go on for a really long time, but eventually I just had to do something about it. I finally put a stop to it. If I can do that, I'm sure I can be more confident all around. I'm not so nervous anymore. Wait, back up Kasumi, who was bullying you? It doesn't matter. It's over and done with for now. You don't need to worry about it. Are you sure? If someone's trying to hurt you... Positive. Like I said, I put a stop to it. I've wanted to for a while and then I just got... And then I got to a place where I didn't have any other choice. Now I got the hiccups. You should have told me what was happening. I was embarrassed, and I didn't want any <clears throat> anyone else to know because I was afraid it would get worse. Hey, you didn't fall and hit your head, did you? Like, like that insult? No, not like that. I mean it, really. Did did you really hit your head recently? I didn't mean. How did you know that? You mean you did? Yeah, I really did. <clears throat> I weigh... I weigh by the pool. And I slipped on a wet tile. But how could you know that? 
I don't know. I think I had a dream about it while I was in a coma. I just remembered it when we were talking about this. That's really weird. It did happen right after I stood, stood up to her. Maybe you overheard someone talking about it? I had to come to this hospital to get checked for a concussion. I'm fine though. I've already I've already been back to school and everything. I guess that would have that that would be the case, or really weird coincidence. I guess so. Or maybe you just knew somehow, like you sensed it. Strange things happen. I don't know if I believe that exactly. You can't be too sure of what's possible. So there's something I want to do, you know, to start getting my confidence and less shy. Okay, what is it? I never expected Kasumi to actually kiss me. I should have fallen into a coma sooner. Kasumi, I know this was sudden, but I missed you. I didn't know what to, I didn't I I didn't know what I would do if you didn't wake up, but I did. You did, and I know I had to tell you. Doing this was really important to me. I'm glad. We could, we could have gone on for so long, never knowing how we felt about each other. And there's no question. And now there's no question of it. None at all. I've made a point of staying out of the hospital ever since the coma. So far, everything's been wonderful. Kasumi is still her usual, your usual self, but I can tell she isn't so nervous or easily intimidated anymore. Apparently, Rika was the one giving her a hard time. I could have sworn I knew that somehow, but I didn't know how that's possible. Not that it matters. I just get those kind of feelings from time to time. The same thing happened with Akiko. I had a feeling she needed someone to reach out to, and Kasumi and I really managed to help her. She didn't let on, but we managed to find out that she, that she was really going through a lot. Depression and a breakup. Man, that, that's kind of sad about this ending though, that she, all we, all, the only thing we know about is that it was a breakup. She's still working on getting better, and she's getting help from good people, and we're always there for her. Once we all band together, things really turned out, turned around for us. I'm glad Akiko didn't feel uh, alienated once Kasumi and I started dating. We're we're all we're all closer than ever now. If this is just a ha is if this is just a happy coma dream, I really don't want to wake up. Epilogue. Kasumi, are you in here? I could have sworn she was right behind me. We were supposed to be cleaning up after the swim meet, but now I've lost her. She can always move so quietly, half the time I don't hear her. Kasumi, where are you? In here. What are you doing in the pool? We're mostly done picking up, aren't we? Yes, well, but isn't it a bit late to be practicing? The teacher, <coughs> the teacher gave me the keys to the gym door <coughs> to lock up once we're finished. We can stay as late as we want. You're still in this. You're still in your swim trunks, so come in here with me. All right. What are we doing? What do you think? We have the pool all to ourselves. It's nice in here during the evening, isn't it? I don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever heard it this quiet before. So this is why I volunteered to clean up after. Don't assume it was entirely selfish. I. I did want to help out, but. This was part of the plan, yes. That's pretty bold of you. Well, I wanted to try shaking things up from the normal. We've been dating for almost half a year and I thought this would be fun. It's not too much, is it? Definitely not. This It's great, Kasumi. I love the idea. I'm just surprised you thought of it. Hey! No, no, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I know what you meant. Still, you should kiss me and make, and make it up to me. Okay, okay. I never thought of this place as being romantic, you know. It is though, isn't it? When it's just us. I guess it's because this is where we met. It all started here. A lot of important things happen in this room. I love you, Kasumi. And this surprising devious streak you've come up with. <laughs> it's not unusual, so I wouldn't get too used to it, but I love you too, Hikaru. You're one of the few people who can still make me blush easily. Holy shit, son. <clears throat> ah. Doing this here feels so strange. Exhilarating, but still. It's alright. No one else is here, right? I checked. We have it all to ourselves, but I can't shake the feeling someone will come in and see. That just adds to the fun. I love having Kasumi like this. 
She was shy when we first started dating, and when we took it further. But like she, but like she set out to be, she's grown a lot more confident, and she's full of surprises. It feels like we're perfect together. And then, skip apart. <laughs> skip ahead. Again, for those of you who want all the goodness in between that time skip, uh, there will be a Steam patch, or you can just buy it on Manga Gamer right now. Wow. That was amazing. I didn't know it would, be so, it would be such a different thrill to be in a different place, but even my head is spinning. <clears throat> and if and if anybody was close by, well, they definitely heard that. Ah, uh, are you okay? Mm, just really sensitive down there. I really, really liked it, Hikaru. Good job, Hikaru. We please all the ladies. It was a great idea. I hope I'll come up with more of them. If you liked it that much. You weren't worried, were you? Hmm? Worried about what? I don't know. Our relationship, I guess. What made you think of this? Ah, uh, no, I wasn't really worried. I know this is the happiest I've ever been with anyone. I don't know how you felt, but I hope it's similar. I guess I just wanted to see what I could come up with. You've really changed since we first met, you know? For the better? I think so. If you feel happier, then it must be. You help a lot with that, you know? What? Am I of, <clears throat> How am I of any help? Kasumi's taken a somewhat personal mission of making herself bolder, more confident. But she's still an introvert and doesn't t talk about it very much. I get to be myself around you, if that makes sense. The person I really am inside. I don't feel like I need to, need to analyze anything I do when I'm around you. You're comfortable. Yes, exactly. Being with you like this, it might it might still make me blush, but it's really fulfilling what I want. I don't think I could reach that with anyone else. You could. Are you supposed to be vouching for other guys? What? No. I mean, <clears throat> it's not about other guys. I was talking about you. I know you could have changed on your own if you had to. I just don't want you to. I wanted you to be there for you. Uh, maybe that's true, but I'm glad I don't have to think to find that out. Thank you, Ikaru. You don't have to thank me. Come on. Let's just enjoy the, the, the night we have in here. This is probably the only top opportunity we'll have to. Hmm, that's true. Come here. Hmm? No. What? No? Nope. If you want to kiss me, you have to beat me at the race. What? Better hurry up. Wait, no, that's not fair. Come on, Ikaru. Just wait, I'll catch you! Girlfriend named Kasumi. I swear this is the cutest she's looked in like every single picture is like that one right there. But it's cute. I like it. Ta-da! We did it! And then that's uh, the end, guys. That is the end of a high school possession that was Kasumi's route. I'm trying to think which route I liked better because when I started to set out in the game, I definitely thought... I liked Kasumi better, but as all in all, with the stories ended the way they were, I think I think I really um, enjoyed Akiko's ending and her story a bit more. But I liked them both; they were both sweet. But anyway, guys, I want to thank AJ Tilly again for um, for giving me the opportunity to play this game. They are awesome people, and I just can't wait to see what they come out with next. But anyway, guys. <sighs> Can't wait! I'm, I've got some special Christmas uh, visual novels planned. I'm hoping to put a bit of a break in between the visual novels. Um, expect probably sometime around the 20th um, for me to start my next visual novel. Hopefully I'll, um, I'll get something Christmas themed for us to do. But anyway guys, until then, I will see you back on the prowl next time. Bye bye <laughs>